know, the mother disappears. Okay. It's the mother disappears because the mother goes up to the water tank. Doesn't tell anybody. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree now. You know, the little the first daughter didn't tell anyone. She's going up to the roof to check out the water tank. The mother goes up to the roof because the first daughter sort of leads her there, directs her there. Mommy, here's where I fell in and drowned, you know. And the second daughter follows the mother. And how traumatizing is that? You're a little girl, six, seven years old. Your mother promises you she's never going to leave you. And then you see your mother in an elevator holding another little girl. Doesn't come running to you. Sees you and doesn't come run to you. Now, if that isn't rejection of a daughter, see, that's the thing that bothers me. She, she loves her little girl, as all mothers do. And I see you. I see you. But I can't move. Maybe, maybe the girl she's holding has too much influence on her. You know, in these stories, the dead um, can have so much control, psychic control, that she can't move. Her legs won't get up. She can't move. Maybe she wants to move, but she can't because she's stuck. And, oh, do I know that feeling? You know. <coughs> but then she disappears and we never see her again alive. You know, and the next time we see her, she's a ghost. Okay, and so I guess we can then assume and I guess it's a good assumption that she's now dead because the daughter turns away, looks back, and she's gone. You know. Um, boy, you're grown. Yeah, how is she watching over her second daughter? That that, that doesn't match. Okay, that doesn't work. All right, that's about it. I just want to talk about this movie, you know, so again, all spoiler alert, and I, I say it in the beginning so you know, but I just, very disappointing, very unsatisfying, and I can, I, I know that I'm wasted, 90 minutes or 120 minutes watching a movie and said, eh, I didn't like this movie. Too many plot holes. The acting was terrible. You know, or whatever. And I always just shrug it off. But this movie really, 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 really got to me. You know, because it really felt for the daughter. You know, and I thought it was so cruel. I mean, cause I really got into this movie. <laughs> I really, really fell for the daughter, you know. Um, and I love this kind of Twilight Zone kind of movie. And it was so unsatisfying and ambiguous. It was like, what? I don't get this at all. What the hell did I watch? 
know? What the hell did I just watch? You know, my ex-wife would say, I don't watch movies because whatever I don't like it, then those are an hour and a half I don't get back and it's a waste of time. Well, that may be true. But, you know, but this is an hour and a half, two hours that is staying with me. You know, really haunting me. It's like, <laughs> what did I watch? I just don't get the end. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you later. Take care. Okay, guys. See you soon.